Burke and Kidder worked her way to a microphone, and now Nick. Nick. Hello, everybody. My name is Nick Ponapori, and uh, I'm here to speak on behalf of my Keen State, my fellow students, and uh, Peace for Keen, which is a new group that's emerging. Um, first off, I would like to say that what happened at Pumpkin Fest isn't exactly a Keen problem. This is a global problem with this idea of our, our culture is heavily now. We are taught to binge, my age group at least, is taught to heavily binge drink and destroy things. This is what our music is teaching us, this is what all kinds of things are teaching us. So my proposal is to take this as an opportunity and to use this as something to stand up upon and to actually do something about it. Um, we have the global stage. I had a friend in Canada send me a message and say, hey, I heard what's going on. What are you guys doing? Um, we could use this as something very powerful, uh, I believe. And which direction we go about doing that, I'm not very sure. Um, there are students that are doing a lot of different things. We are planning on doing a DC Employee Appreciation Day. Um, people need to be recognized here. And I think the greatest thing that we can do as a community coming out of this is to come together. Um, I'm looking at all these board people here that are doing great things for Keen. Come talk to me. Come talk to all these people here. Like, let's do something about this. Because you should not be taking away Pumpkin Festival. I was playing guitar downtown, and it was beautiful. You had all these kids running around in their costumes. It was just really, a, it was very a great, a great thing. And uh, going forward from here, we, we just need to make changes. And we shouldn't be cutting things. I don't, I don't think that's the problem. Um, I would also like to make this now an announcement. Um, I've just started something called the Sangha Meditation Sessions, which is going on in the gym. Um, meditation is a great way to calm your mind and to tame the thoughts that are going on. Hopefully that peace will spread across campus and hopefully stop future things like this from going on in general. Um, so every Monday and Wednesday at 8.15, you can come to the gym from two to three, third floor. Come join me. Um, overall, I came to this college because I thought the people here were incredible. So to all the townspeople that are here, um, I would just like you to know that I've never met a Keene State College student that wasn't kind and thoughtful and creative and a leader. Um, so please don't pin this on just straight up Keene State College students. There are more helping people and more wonderful people here than that. The vast majority of people here are incredible people. Thank you very much. I've lived here for 28 years, teaching at Keene State College for the same amount of time. During that time, I have uh, met a lot of the wonderful people that Nick was just talking about that are now our alums. Uh, less than a week after Pumpkin Fest, in the heartbroken state that many of us were in, I got a call from one of those alums, and she lives in New Jersey, and she has three children, and she wanted to meet and talk. So, of course, a part of our discussion did have to do with Pumpkin Fest. Uh, she is an alumna, and I know there are many alumni in the building right now, right in this room. Um, she believes that the alumni can play a very important role, and along with all the other groups that have been mentioned. And the alumni in particular, she sees as leaders, um, teaching and helping other leaders, young people on the campus. She also sees us as uh, being in a situation in which we need to be very grateful for the people, whether they be the present students who are with us, whether it be the students that we recruit during the next year. Thank you for believing in us. That's her message, and I think that's an important message. Thank you. Thank you, Rose. And John, I'll probably mess this one up. John Hussland, you make your way up. And now, Megan. Thank you. I'm going to defer most of my time because several of the comments I was going to make have already been made. But I will add one more thing that I really think we should all be so grateful for our police force here in this community and in other parts of the state. Vermont and for protecting us and protecting against that. So I just wanted to make that quick comment. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. And now, if Jim Gowan, you make your way forward, and Donald Powell. 
Uh, I'm Donald Cowell. Uh, I am a native of Keene, and also I think you can say a native, a native of Keene State, because my mother and father were the house parents of a small women's dormitory over on the corner of Water Street. And I was born while they were there, and the girls that lived there uh, <clears throat> used to do a lot of great things for my folks. Um, so, literally speaking, I've been touched with and close to Keene State for 88 years. Um, I, my my uh, adult life was all education. I grew up in education, and I was a um, worked in public schools. I was a principal. I was a teacher. My first teaching job was grade six, seven, and eight. Nobody can do that today, but it was very simple and very oh, a lot of fun years ago. Um, I was also went into administration with, as being a principal and a superintendent. I used the word why. A lot of things that I did was why. And I found it to be very, very helpful. And it also helped to solve a lot of my problems without too much effort. But why did you do this? Or even in why is five and two seven uh, with the students? And um, as I say, I, I used the word why, and I think the big thing is, why are the kids doing these things today? We never <coughs> thought of it. I graduated from high school in 44. I got my diploma in one hand, and I was in the service during the war. Uh, a few hours later, uh, when the government noticed that I was dressed a minute to go. Okay. Uh, I, I was on open hour. I was also some of the very first uh, people in um, occupation of Japan. Dr. Young and Dr. Mason used to emphasize with us, it's our responsibility. We came here and it was our responsibility to have the rooms in the dorms exactly the same as they were in September. It is our responsibility. You know, we get sick of hearing the word responsibility on no. That word, I think, has been, has been lost. It's disappeared. And uh, so that's, my question is, why are we in this predicament in the first place? I think we're going to have to go back many years to find the beginning of the source. Thanks very much. Thank you, Mr. Garo. Thank you for your service, too. I will, I will not be able to live here for 88 years. <laughs> Let's ask Beth Truman to work your way to a microphone, and now John Hussleder. I'm John Hussleder. I've lived in Keene all my life. Uh, I'm 70 years old now, so I'm going to have to read some of this off the paper. Uh, I do maintenance, my daughter's a patent, and uh, usually pick up most of the water street with uh, all the trash and gummies. We just tumble the fire and things. Uh, but anything that's family oriented as the pumpkin festival should not be dropped. We need more family oriented events in the kingdom, not less. Uh, the rest of the things have already been pretty well brought up here, except my opinion is Keene State is doing something right. Five years ago, when we, when, well, it's been over five now, when my daughter had bought the Latin houses, it was terrible. The first year, we didn't think we were going to make it. We thought we were all going to make it. Every year since then, the kids have gotten better. They really have progressed in that. And they, 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 the college is doing something right to, to making these kids have some uh, respect. So uh, 
I can remember going down to uh, Blake Street and around the college every single weekend. It was like the Keene landfill. There was trash over there every weekend. Now you can go down there on Sunday and you see very little trash on the streets and in the yards and next to the houses. Thank you. Thank you so much. Age 70, would you be willing to share with me what your diet looks like? <laughs> and if Bradford Hutchinson would make his way up, now 